really excited to be here with Jen Yang. We are kindred spirits, and uh, I want to. We wanted to talk about authenticity, among other topics like what does it mean <laughs> to be aligned with our souls in our life, our work, etc. But uh, first of all, Jen, welcome to this conversation. I'm really happy to have you here. Um, and I'll just let you introduce yourself. However, however you uh, want to, to say that today is great. <laughs> My favorite part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um, I'm a I'm a well, I'm a transformational mentor, a soul alignment practitioner. Um, so I work with highly sensitive beings, mostly women, um, to help them um, tap into their intuitive soul's gifts so they get to trust their decision making power in different transitions in life. Yeah, I mm. think that will just make it yeah. short. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay. So um, we're going to talk about authenticity today. Because, well, I, a lot of people who are watching this know that I talk about authentic business, authentic marketing all the time. I mm. don't define authenticity. I have, I don't remember the last time I defined authenticity or talked about that specifically on any of my videos. So I think this will be quite interesting to people. Um, but I, I'll say ladies first. <laughs> is there is there something that's particularly alive for you? Maybe maybe you could share with us a little bit about your journey into this idea of authenticity. Yeah. Why is it important to you? Yeah, how does it relate to your background? Okay, so then I need to kind of have this little flashback. Yes, back to back to yes, my healing sure. journey because I used to work in the corporate environment for many many years um that was what yeah like before 2012 let's just say that okay so a good um decade or so um trying to do the overachieving patterns and learn so many like um people pleasing i learned it you know and, and then it's again um so many of us especially highly sensitive beings i mean we learn how to survive through the environment that's not really sensitive to, to the sensitive beings out there. So we need to operate from a place that feels inauthentic, yet it helps us to survive, right? And so much compassion to that part of the past, whoever that shared the same past with me. <laughs> um, so I lost my hearing one day back in 2012 end of 2012, I think around November or something. So it was a, a good, um, I would say a 10 year anniversary, a little bit of over 10 years now for me to just kind of like settle in and really reflect back like, wow, um, the reason why this is just kind of a, a spiritual conclusion I, I've drawn upon is I lost my hearing due to the fact that I did not listen to my inner being. It's been calling me for so long, but I did not. I chose to numb it. I chose to escape from the inner calling. Um, and then I, so ultimately I got spiritual spanking from the universe for good. <laughs> Lost it, my hearing for, well, gladly is temporary. It's like three to four months. So I needed to recuperate my whole entire well being and facing this like, wow, you know, who am I? I thought I knew myself, all that type of um, awakening syndrome. So that was the initial yeah. spiritual awakening for that's, me. That's pretty scary though. I that mean, was really scary. Because obviously you don't know if it's temporary or not. Right. Um, and and when did you get a sense that it was something deeper than just physical? I mean, that you focused yeah, on well something that was a greater message? Of course, it did not happen till like a year or two later okay. because I was mm -hmm. so much into shock, like absorbing yes. the shock as a highly yes, sensitive yes. person. I was like, WTF, <laughs> what's going on with me? I mean, I try my best, you know, and then, you know, try to strive and try to do the things that I know, but how come it's not working out? And just a lot of um, venting, I guess, you know, and that time I didn't even think about the word soul it was so far away from me so far away from me and so till the point when I really had to sit with the whole entire um 
healing process, I really realized that, wow, you know, when I couldn't communicate with people, the only person, I used person, that was able to communicate was the moon. I look at as a personified energy at the time. And I realized how much um, waning and waxing was going on, you know, and um, started to understand little by little, but then of course, till the point when I really allow myself to step into um, this field of mentoring, it took me another couple of years. So I just have to say, healing journey is not like, oh yeah, you know, I got spiritual awakening and the next day I'm like, I know where my mm. purpose is. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Yeah. Too bad. It doesn't work that way. But because I think I, our, our soul understands, yeah. you know, the, the lifetime of our evo evolution or the journey of our evolution is, you know, we probably both believe this like beyond life, be beyond this lifetime. Right. And so it's, it's a very, and so you might even, I mean, a lot of people, you know, people kind of have this view of the eternity of the soul say this lifetime is very short. <laughs> and so if you think of it that way, a few years is, is, is just a moment, a blink of an eye in the soul's existence, right? Like, like it's, it's, you could say you evolved quite quickly. <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, imagine we're sitting, sitting here again and connecting when we're in his sixties or seventies. <laughs> yeah. 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 So um, again, like back to the story, it's like learning to kind of bring myself out of the old self, the human old self of, wow, I'm operating for so much fear, the fear of not belonging to say, you know, my family culture or a group, group of uh, dynamics. It's, it's very, very humbling. It's very, very humbling because then I realized the importance of authenticity, but yet don't know how to get there. That's a very big dilemma for me at the time because okay, so I'm going to be myself more and more and be true to myself, but I'm going to tr start triggering people because they, they expected me or social expectation again, expected any of us who are trying to break out of the mold, I just say the mold from the past. It really challenges to really um, stretch our courage. Yeah, the courage level. And then so I was so afraid to own that capitalistic part of me, but which is a part of my nature. So meaning that, you know, when I'm speaking my truth, even my voice is shaking, <laughs> I have to allow my, my, myself to just express. And that itself is really healing at the same time, very scary, very scary. So um, I remember like, you know, there's a post also that our, one of our um, Soul Tribe member, Tamsin, shared, shared with me the other day, that incredible post uh, written by Elizabeth Gilbert talking about shame, tribal shame. And I was like, oh my God, I can feel that core wound in me because the tribal shame would be like, okay, now you want to be authentic. Now you're doing things differently. And now you're operating in a way people don't understand you. And then you're exceeding that social expectation of how people are viewing you, perceiving you now. The, what you're going to get is you either get shame or you feel shame inside of you. And that sometimes will pull you away from that truest calling, even though the intuition, I mean, our highly sensitive intuition is so sharp we know there's that something that i need to gear towards but still that tribal shame will kind of pull you back and you feel like oh my god what do i do sometimes i found myself probably sabotage myself several times due to the fear of not belonging it's really deep <laughs> yes oh my gosh it is um yeah it, it's and the but the fact of your awareness allows you to be stronger because you yeah. can now understand the dynamic and say yes okay i am stepping well you are you are stepping outside the tribe's uh rules and expectations um you know thankfully there are certain tribes like family that 
always has to, you're, you're always going to be family, right? Yes, um, yes, yes. And then there are other tribes like your company, right? Or your, the, the corporate culture where you are stepping, yes. literally stepping out and endangering your livelihood, you know? Um, right. At the same time, you're, you're, you know, you, you can also, and now we are stepping into a new tribe of, like you said earlier, the soul tribe where it, you create the kindred spirits around you that are also on a greater journey, the journey that you share as, as souls. Right. And I, there's some profound realization is that, you know, what exactly authenticity is then still, I don't have a conclusion, but still, I feel like since we have this body, human body with us, we are, we're, we're allowed to take up space where we have the right to take up space to 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 really express ourselves in our own unique ways. Um, so that was the reason why I talked to you about um, the tribal sheen because, okay, take up space, how? I'm kind of like feeling like I have to tiptoe in myself, you know, walk on eggshells just in case I'm not gonna be banished. So again, like authenticity is so much to do with how do I allow myself to feel safe and safer and safer and safer more and more in my body and know that in this moment I'm not being I'm safe there's no one's coming after me you know why am I so scared so it's like those four legs of the chair right when we sit on a chair we just sit we don't question it can I sit on it because <laughs> if I sit on it am I gonna fail right am I gonna fall no we're not gonna fall because we have that 100% trust of that chair is gonna support us and can we cultivate that same trust for ourselves? So when we're being authentic with who we are, we don't need to explain. There's no need to explain, but just to fully be here and connect from that place of the heart because or else it'll come from here. It knows yes. so well how to project yes. so well. Oh, <laughs> really, really beautifully said. Um, I'm going to have to reflect on that too, but I really love this, you know, analogy of a chair and it's like, can we trust our higher self sort of, can we trust the universe? Can we trust that relationship or that context mm -hmm. um, to express authentically, truthfully? Uh, to be in to to be to express from the, the whole entire being and not just from here and kind of like protecting ourselves, right? It's such yeah. a good question. Um, yeah, I'm so glad we're having this discussion because it is, uh, you know, it for everyone listening to this, watching this, like, be aware of the next conversation you're in or the next time you show up, whether you are just using the. I guess the ego's protection of, you know, don't want to take too much risk. Don't want to take too much space. Like you said, I think it's brilliant that you said, we have this body. We are taking up space just by, yeah. by being alive. We're taking up space. We're taking air. Right. You know, we're taking up space in, in a room or whatever. And any room we walk into and you're right. You're right. That is, that is a nice symbol to say, well, and by the way, our soul is so much bigger, you know, in my, in our opinion, right. Than the body is like, the soul. yes. Um, yeah. So, so this is really good. And so, okay. So, so maybe continue with the story or, or complete the story. Like you, you, okay. yeah. So anyway, um, so following my, um, guiding post, the inner intuition, the compass, I, I had to continue to make mistakes without losing faith. Let's just put it this way, rather than say, oh, I'm gonna make the right choice every time since I follow my intuition. No, it doesn't work that way either because mistakes are here for a reason. And then so again, um, as you have been witnessing my path, learning to kind of allow you my, my, my next layers of, <laughs> you know, uh, what doesn't belong anymore to just, um, drifted away I'm more connected to the um, the path of the soul alignment and whenever you feel like oh yeah I'm soul aligned so does that mean that I don't make any mistakes you do you still do we will continue to make mistakes because that's 
the um, necessary ingredient, 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 ingredient for us to really evolve. Because without mistakes, we it's kind of hard for a human being to evolve. I think. Yeah, it's everything. It's just like easy peasy. I mean, what is courage then? We don't need that. What is trust then? You don't need that. Wow. Yeah. It's so interesting. Yeah, because, <clears throat> um, yeah, authenticity requires the <laughs> trust and the courage. And like you're saying, why do we need the trust and the courage? Because mistakes or unexpected responses will be there. And maybe a lot of the time, it's like you... You 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 express you you try you you come outside the 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 typical small comfort zone and you express authentically, and then it's not you don't get the acceptance sometimes or the embrace that 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 you expected that you hoped for, and so what does that mean? Do you then crawl back into the shell of protection? And sometimes yeah. we need to for a little while, but it's like mm, maybe there is a there's a there's a bigger foundation for us to rest into um and so, that's i'm just going to add a little yeah, bit yeah please so please I, so i feel like you know when you just brought up so beautifully is that okay so now you see the 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 brutal reality that no one's going to accept you right what now right and then that's the reason why i feel the bridge to our soul alignment it's about self love how deep are you willing to go into that? Um, I, I really have to say darkness, darkness of self-acceptance or self-compassion. Normally we don't like to go to that place. You know, I know a lot of highly sensitive beings that, you know, who are so, so spiritual, they're so um, kind and in nature, but they have a really hard time to embrace themselves with that acceptance and compassion they can give a lot of compassion to other people but not themselves so that's also why i find um i find it so vitally important that to be more in our soul alignment in that in our in our element basically soul alignment is pretty much in our element our, our souls make up our element we really have to allow self-love to emerge and self-love is a general term. I mean, there's a lot of um, aspects that we have to cover, right? It's like awareness, empowerment. How are you going to empower yourself when you're going down? How can we take care of ourselves? Or um, how can we have a play playful heart even when we're in the midst of like confusion, right? And all, all of those aspects are wow. part of self-love. Yeah, this is so profound. I mean, you, you have, I think you've been, uh, reflecting and working on this uh, much deeper and, and more than most people that I know. Um, so it's really, it's really amazing to hear it. Uh, and okay, so let's, let's, we've talked about authenticity, touched on this. We're now moving into this topic of soul alignment. Yeah. And uh, I, I want to hear you talk more about this because uh, soul alignment <clears throat> can mean in different things, different people. And I want to, I want to know how do you define that and kind of maybe walk us through a little bit of the map of it, like what's involved with what you call the soul aligned way, you know? So what's, in, what's involved with, with these different pieces of, of the, if the soul alignment is in the center, what's, what's involved here? Okay. Thank you for asking this because um, I feel like since my awakening stage all the way up to this point talking with you, I feel like I've been searching for this too myself and still learning, still learning. So um, I feel soul alignment is not just a term. It can be grounded in being practical. So number one, just looking at ourselves as we're human, but we're also a soul in this body driving this vehicle, doing what we're here to do, experiencing, experimenting things. So we get to receive the wisdom that we're able to accumulate for our soul's, soul's growth. And now we get to carry on to the next, the invisible, the mystical cycle of life, right? 
if you believe in reincarnation, that's another thing. So we're not going to cover that. So um, soul alignment basically is about it's it's not about oh yeah you know uh, we have this soulful connection and everything is just so you know rainbows and unicorns. It's not that, but it's more about I'm a human. I realize that I'm a human. Rather than so, okay, let's go to the soul and we forgot everything and we spiritual bypass everything, right? But then because we that deep knowing of you are a soul, so how do you connect with that truth in your everyday life? Because only what every day can provide us is this truth of practicality without every day, the mundane. There's no way we're able to allow our human to experiment or to 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 go through life right so everyday mundane life is very very important even if you're you know cleaning the toilet or washing the dishes you know yelling at your kids they're all can be part of the soul alignment way because when we are feeling um off then we know oh guess what there's another way back over there it's 180 degree over there it's using it as a pivot moment for us to reflect like, oh yeah, okay, I, I'm, I'm away from my soul. So the reason why I've, I've been um, so passionate into the soul alignment is because we cannot forget that we are a soul. We just have this, you know, meat, flesh, body, you know, flesh and blood, but we're here to, um, to connect with the essence of that childlike innocence when we are going through the day-to-day, -day, the day-to-day -day life, even when we're making mistakes. Can I allow myself to be more gentle? Because your soul wants to experience what gentle feels like. It's all in the invisible. It's not about the goals that care. Your soul doesn't care about the goal. <laughs> your soul doesn't care about the to-dos. Your soul cares about how do I experience this thing called marketing, for example? Then I know, oh, wow, authenticity is really important. I want to learn about authenticity. So it doesn't come about care about marketing, honestly. <laughs> but our human self cares about marketing. Give me that formula so I can follow it. But the soul yeah. is like, let me just try to understand what authentic means so I can just allow this marketing thing just naturally being carrying out rather than just let me fix myself in a way people get my message <laughs> right know? yeah um so but first of all this conversation has has blessed me with more and more light as you can see <laughs> and the afternoon you're way sun white, well. yeah, you're way white. <laughs> the, the afternoon sun also helps so um this is amazing and uh, it's such a it's such a good point about how um ultimately it comes down to the day-to-day -day moments and to using using the moments as a way, like you said, as to to pivot, as, as tools to pivot and come back and and goals. You write goals. Yeah, the soul says we have we have eternity and <laughs> don't worry so much about that. And there's a much deeper meaning here and a much higher purpose here. Uh, and yes, continue to you know wash your dishes, clean the toilets, do your marketing. And there's, you know, there's also the soul alignment is really, really why, you know, we're here. This is so great. So amazingly, the time has already flew, flown by, but I, I want to make sure people know, what do you offer? What do you, what do you, how, how do you support uh, your clients in, in the soul aligned way? Oh, okay. So um, a newly created program that I just announced is called the Soul Align Way. So way is wildly authentically you. So meaning that- W-A-Y, wildly authentically you. I love that. That's great. Yeah. So, which is actually giving me permission as well that we get to do something that's just out of the box because our soul wants to know new things. So it gets to expand. Sometimes you will shock yourself like- <laughs> Do I just do that? But it's okay because your soul wants to play. So um, this program is for um, for any kindred spirits who are already on this path and then they feel um, they feel the need to connect with your soul more and more on the daily basis. So they don't feel like you know, um, yeah, you know, I understand that. Uh, 
connecting, creating from that inner landscape can manifest outwards, but somehow I'm still feeling like it's kind of going backwards. I'm not manifesting, you see? But I just want to um, allow people to experience the soul line way so they understand that they are, they are powerful beings. All they have to do is to align to their soul's element. So here is something that I, I love to do is also um, allowing my own essence, which is um, I'm a psychic medium. <laughs> so I channeled um, from the Akashic record to, to, to receive their soul's essences. So based on those soul essences, how about taking small or large, doesn't matter, your soul aligned actions every single day in different various aspects of your life, you know, with your family, how are you going to use your soul essences to boost up that, you know, uh, vitality, harmony with your family. What about your business? What about your 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 um, relationship with people? Like we can play it all. So it, I'm just gonna it's leave beautiful. it as is. Yeah, really good, <laughs> really good. And of course, there is information below this video to yes. learn more about Jen's. Um, you know how to work with Jen, and uh, Jen is also active on social media. And of course, I'll put the the links below as well. Um, thank you for this time, Jen, and for blessing us with um, these perspectives and this settling in more and more to our soul and our authenticity. So thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you so much, George. Thank you, everyone.